I get this question a ton on my channel, and that is how to organize your print-on-demand files. There's so many things that you need for your print-on-demand business, from graphics to use within designs, your designs that you've already made, and your mock-ups. And it can really start to get confusing if you don't find a way to organize it. Now you don't have to do a crazy amount of organization, but I've been getting a ton of questions on how to organize your files for print on demand. I recently did a video that was how to organize your files using Google Drive, and I'll link that video down below because if you want to keep your files somewhere forever that's a little bit more secure, then that will be perfect. If you think you may ever cancel your Canva Pro account or pause it for any length of time, I don't know what happens to your files at that point. So I think still organizing them somewhere that's more secure that you always own is a good idea and also somewhere that's easily accessible from anywhere on the internet in case something happened to say your external hard drive. But having them all organized in Canva as well can be a great easy access point where you don't actually have to pay for the amount that you store there either. It's just the monthly fee. And if you don't have a Canva account just yet, I do have a link down below for a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro that gives you all of the access to save transparent backgrounds, save your mockups and make designs for your print on demand business. So you can get started making money with print on demand before you have to pay for your first month. So first, if you've never created a folder before, you need to start here on the home page of Canva. Then you wanna go and click this projects button right here. So it's gonna bring you here to your projects folder and you wanna come up here to this plus button to do add new. You wanna go ahead and add a folder. So this is where you need to decide how you want to organize documents. So there's a few ways you can do it. You can make a folder for all of your mockups, uh, a big folder for your mockups, and then you can make subfolders for say the Bella Canvas 3001s, the Gildan 18,000s, or for even certain holidays or group shirts. So you can do one main category and then do some subfolders within it, and I'll show you how to make those. Or you can make things based more off of holidays. So you could right now, if you're working on Christmas, say make a Christmas folder, and then you can make a subfolder with Christmas mockups, all the Christmas designs that you make, and all the Christmas graphics that you buy for your business. So you can kind of decide what makes the most sense for you. Don't feel like it has to be organized any certain special way. Everyone's going to be different. But for this example, we're gonna go ahead and create a folder for mockups, just for an example. And we'll go ahead and push create folder. So now when we actually click on one of our projects, we're going to easily be able to access anything we put in that folder by going here to the projects button, clicking on folders, and then here now you can see this mockup folder. So right now this mockup folder is empty since we just created it, but what you'll do is you can upload any files you want to it, or this is where you come to actually create those subfolders. So I'd have mockups as the larger folder, and then right here you can click these three little dots and say create a new folder inside of mockups. So this is where you might say 3001 mockups, uh, you can create another one that's a subfolder to be the Gildan 18,000. You can create another one to be the Comfort Color 1717 mockups. That way, when you're going to make your mockups, you can just open up these folders and drag the mockups into your template when you're creating, say, your videos or your mockups for your business. Now let's talk about where to save your projects that you're currently working on. Because for this example I did for last week's video, this is a personalizable mug. So every person that orders is gonna have a different name. So I need to be able to quickly and easily access this file and not have to go hunting for it. So that way all I can do is go ahead and change the name, And I'll have to rechange the colors. So this will just take a few moments to go ahead and redo what I had done. Again, if you scroll down here, you can see the different colors for the letters. And so this way you can just quickly and easily come in, change the colors, 
go ahead and upload it to Printify and have your custom item made. But you're only going to be able to quickly and easily remake this design every time someone orders it if you save it somewhere. So what we'll do here once I'm done making, say, this design that I want to save and keep reusing every time someone orders it is you can come right here to File and you can do Save to Folder. So you can either save it to a particular project uh, or file that you already have or you can click Create New if you don't already have one. So this is going to be my personalized Christmas designs. I'm going to do Add to New Folder. So now every time I make another personalized Christmas design, I can go ahead and add it inside this folder. And if I need to come back and edit it, all I need to do is click on it and this will reopen as a new page. And then I can edit this design within the same project that I was even already working on. So it just makes it super simple and easy to go ahead and make your personalized orders. Now you may also want to save this graphic to be used in a bunch of other completely different designs. So what you can then do is say delete the words that you have because this is already saved as a project as is. So this isn't going to change that one. I can go ahead and save this one in a new folder. So I'm going to do create new and this is going to be Christmas graphics and I'm going to add that to a new folder. So now when I'm in here if I go into Christmas graphics, you're gonna see this project. And if I go into personalized Christmas, you're gonna see this project. So it's saved in multiple places, depending on what I wanna use it for. So now if I'm working on Christmas designs next year, and I wanna use this same cute little hot cocoa graphic, I can quickly and easily go into my Christmas graphics folder, and I can find it. You can again create subfolders if you want to, to create different things. So if you have your hot cocoa or coffee themed ones in one folder, again, you can decide how much or how little you want to organize these depending on how many things you need to organize in your business. So now let's show you how to download graphics from other websites and then easily and quickly upload them into these folders without having to create a whole new canvas for it. So you'd come to say creativefabrica.com if that's where you get a lot of your graphics. You can go ahead and download the graphic and then this is going to show up in your downloads folder. So then you'll go ahead and reopen this folder where you have your Christmas graphics held. You can open up your downloads folder just like I have here so they're on the screen and you can actually drag and drop. See I'm selecting all of these and I'm going to drop them into my Christmas graphics folder. So in two seconds now these are already in Canva, saved and ready to be used anytime I want to go make new designs with them. So this is going to be the simplest and easy way to organize your graphics and have them ready at your fingertips to be able to use when Whenever you're ready. I hope this quick tutorial was helpful for you in how to better organize your files and easily get your downloads into Canva all at once instead of having to do it individually. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe if you've been enjoying my content so far. Every like, every subscribe, every comment really does help to support my channel and I'm really so happy to be bringing you all value for your print-on-demand businesses. And I did wanna add just at the end of this video that there's going to be a million things in your print-on-demand business that are gonna try and convince you that they're important, like spending hours going back and organizing all your old designs, reorganizing all the listings in your shop, redoing everything you did months ago because you don't think it's as good, but you want to try and really be intentional with your time. Most of you are working full-time jobs and building your print-on-demand business at the same time and have families and friends that you need to give your attention. So please be intentional with your time and don't be productive for a couple hours on things that aren't actually making you money. So start organizing your files going forward and go back and do any that you really need to access again. But please do not watch this video and then go spend five hours organizing everything that you made because that is not going to make you any money and it's gonna keep you from doing the things that are really important and going to help move the needle in your business. This is just another one of those things that you really shouldn't overthink. You wanna kind of do it at the base level so it's done, you're comfortable, you can do things more efficiently, but I again, don't want you spending hours on this. 
I said this in another video, but my dad has a great saying, to focus on how to win, you have to focus on what's important now. So only do this if it makes sense and it's going to make your life easier. I really hope that this hits home and is helpful for you. I appreciate you all staying all the way until the end and we'll see you in the next one.